Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Kicking off today in the big New York area, Hudson Valley, back with the yellow 850. First thing we're going to do is fix these seat recliners. No movement. You hear the motor going, but it's not moving forward or backward. The cable slips within the sleeve. We're going to fix that. Then we're going to replace the thermostat and the ETC on this thing. Over there, we're going to do that cam sensor and get that switch pack repaired for replacement. And then head to Cleveland. So let me get started on these seats. All right, I'm um, three clip rings up. I didn't tear the dang uh, metal out of the cushion, which is good. So I should be ready to go in the back. Take those two eight millimeters loose. I gotta fold this seat up with those little handles there. And fix this recliner. Let me show you what the other one's doing. Oh, I think I already did. You may want to run this uh, motor through some travel. I did get this up. As you can see, raising the seat, lowering the seat. And man, these seats recline very far. You could put these things almost in a full lay down position. If the back of them not loaded up with stuff. So, that's how these zip ties end up there. I don't think they're going to bother the seat. Do do do. Put this up to normal position so the guy doesn't freak out when he comes back. nice and smooth now that one's not moving at all so time to go deal with that one we now have two working recliners working like a champ and somebody over tightened the thermostat housing bolts so change them out right we're going to go ahead and get that thermostat out and put in the Bolts in there, real 10 millimeter. I have my launch 8021 code reader here. Man, this phone does not like picking up lit screens. What the crap is up with that? Anyway, scanning for codes. Two codes P0014, camshaft B. I guess that's the exhaust timing over advance and a pending P0013. Well, it's hard to get these sensors in the mail new anymore. I don't think they make them for this 99 model P80 car, so you got to get a sensor and rewire it. So let's go take a look. When you get a uh, when you get the replacement solenoid, it's got a different connector on it. So they give you two pieces of wire, two buck connectors, a new connector. The connector down in there, it has a one and a two. One's on the left, two's on the right. Well, when you wire this thing in, you got to get that wiring polarity right or this valve's not going to work. So we're trying to see the one and the two on the old one. Having a hard time seeing that. So he's got the wire harness in his hands trying to locate that. What I think I'm going to do is cut it, wire, uh, twist them together, take the car for a ride. If it doesn't fix it, switch to polarity. All right, the they say that the green with the orange stripe is pin one. 
yellow with the purple stripe is pin two. That's how we're going to wire it for the first test. <laughs> All right, so you push these wires in here and then you lock that green thing across and they'll be locked in place. When you're putting this connector together, you want to, the release tab, you want that down and you push your wires in with your wire latch, that wire has a latch on it, Tab. that that is going to be up. So when you put, hold that like that, just that hold it from the front. When you push this in, you should hear it click in while it's going in. And all that green stuff is going to go in there as well. Let me make sure that latch is open. Nope, see the latch is closed. Got to open that latch. All right, now hold it. See the wire is feeding in there, and you'll hear it click when it gets all the way in there. All right, yep. heard, heard it click. It. Once it clicks, well, you slide that over there like on. that. Now you're closed and ready to Locked plug in. this in to the solenoid. Now over here, this side where my thumb is, is number one. This side over here where the latch is, is number two. Number one goes on the green orange wire. Number two goes on the yellow and purple wire. So we're going to splice those in. This video I'm going to show you how to reset this service light. Should work for the 99 and 2000 models. Ignore that red coolant low light. That is a definite turn the key off light, but we're troubleshooting. Just wanted to make this video for you real quick. Hope I'm able to get this. What you do is you turn the key to the first position. The key has three positions. Accessory, run, and start. We're going to turn it to accessory position. We're going to push and hold the trip button. While we're holding that trip button, we're going to turn the key to the run position. So let me get that and grab the camera again. I'm holding that in. I'm in the run position. After about 10 seconds, I should get something flashing in here. The service light is flashing. While it's flashing, you got to let it go. Turn the key off. I don't think I did that in time. So let me do that again. And you got to let the button go and turn the key off while it's flashing. Or you're going to get a service light back when you start the car back up. So let me redo that. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.